Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're just going to continue working on our block of the month from 2018. Pop designed it via the EQ8 software and we did a different block of I think it was 17 inches? 16 inches, oh, something like that. Uh, and I'm just going to continue quilting it up, all right? So, and I'd like to show you, in case you missed the live stream on the Sunday, because we just got back on the Saturday from Prince Edward Island. It was beautiful. Pop had a good conference, learned lots, and took lots of notes. And this is how the big drunkard's path turned out for uh, the QOV for the month of May, okay? I think it looks lovely. Lots of big negative space for me to play in. And, uh, uh, yeah, I think it'll stitch out quite nicely. Put something in this uh, the pie piece here and then do a bunch of free motion swirls and stuff. So you'll see that next Wednesday. I'll stitch that up then and you will see how that progresses. They're beautiful, lovely. But today we're just going to put our way on a few of these blocks. Okay. So bring Walt on over here. He's off the belt, so he's nice and you know, free motion, you can have the fun with it. I put it at 12 stitches per inch, per inch and it's on regulated. You could do constant, which means it's just gonna keep going and you have to move it to how you, uh, to me it, it feels like I'm under the, the like a ticker of a, a time clock or something because like, it's going like crazy. Um, for some instances, it works great, like doing circles or uh, really tight curves and stuff like that. It helps, I guess, for that part, of, you know, cause it, I don't know. You tweak it, you have fun with it. So, um, but right now it's just unregulated. Uh, I have started this one with some Ziggy or I don't know bread stickies thingies going on, and I'm just kind of kind of do the same within the purples. Do that here, and then here, and then here, and then finish the same off on here, and maybe just kind of bounce around in these pieces here. Just kind of fill it in and and kind of match stuff that I've kind of already done on the first line. Okay, so we'll start off here. Put a couple locking stitches and then just do it slowly back and forth. It's called matchsticks or you know if you do them really close they're called matchsticks but since it's kind of a little bit further apart I kind of call them breadsticks. So you just want to kind of keep as even as possible but you do want the fun free organicness of being a free motion uh, quilt right. You want those little differences and so on. So, and then from to here, it's just gonna bounce. Just fill in the space. And then you can cut the stitches at this point. And then move over to the next one, okay. Work your way down, or you can kind of, you know, bounce your way depending on how you get there. Actually, let's just see if we can do that. Might have to come back for that top part there. So, we bounce down into this corner and then up into here, and then do the back and forth in this space. And we can kind of pace ourselves to come out on the right hand side over here. Then we can bounce that other section. It's kind of like think about where you want to go and how you want to get there. It's a lot like life, right? Life license. You have a goal, you have an idea, you have a dream. How do I get there? How do I make it work for me? There we go. So that worked out well. And here, and then from this corner here. And then bounce. And I can always do this one and be able to come back and bounce on the other side. I can always do a little stitching in the ditch between the squares.
Pop and I had a great time on our little trip. I right, just want to kind of pop into here. There we go. There. 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 And then back up here. And I will definitely be going to Prince Edward Island again for sure. Okay. I guess actually when I came back up here, I probably could have back up here and then down in the stitch in the ditch. But you know, there's a hundred different ways to pop yourself around in a block. So you know, just kind of think about it and have some fun getting there. Okay, come down here. Oop. A little bit. That was a really short tail on that one. I cut it too short. Come here. There we go. I like to stop in the Bay of Funding next time. That's in New Brunswick. It's uh, quite a beautiful place. It's been suggested by a couple of people. But both times when we went to go past it, because we were, I wouldn't say halfway through, but it's just at least a, you know, a third through the trip on the way there. It was um, not the nicest of weather, so. That happens, so that's okay. Move that out of the way. Bounce this part here. And come back and get the rest. So I would like to go. Well, we'll definitely be doing another trip out there. So it's not any time too soon. fun whatever you're doing whether it's free motion ruler work filling in all the squares or every inch of the fabric you know that the choice is up to you right so don't don't let it don't let it stop you you want to go all crazy then go crazy okay. Oops. oh probably could have went up and did that that's okay <laughs> we'll do it now Pop it out from here. There. It's on the outside, that'll get stitched in with the binding. Perfect. Clean up some threads. Okay, I think there was one here we missed, and then it was here and here, right? Yes, okay, so let's do that, and then we'll move on to the next square. Yeah, don't don't be afraid if you've missed things. That's right. and then over here. There we go. Perfect. Oops, so just eight up here. One more. One more for good luck, as they say. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Now that block is all done. Now, on to the next one. And this one had just something a little bit different planned. Okay. It's just going to go up here, here to here. And then from here, it's going to be a, like a bounce to like a point and then out here. It's almost like making the old fashioned sort of bird, you know, when you, you know, just like a, like a, like a sloppy V sort of thing. And then back here to there to there. And then, you know, same in this pattern and then same for the outside part on this one. So I'm just hoping it turns out just a little, little chalk sketch first, just trying to make sure that I keep myself on track. 
here, and then from here goes this way to that corner, and then here, and then it loops the other way. Okay, see? And then do here, and then here, and then straight across, and then over there. And then this one is just going to be very similar. I'm going to try and tie some of these together. I'm just going to finish off this one here and I'm just going to work in the opposite direction. I'm going to come down a little bit further. I wasn't sure if I was going to bump into the bar, but I didn't bump in it over here. So it's just a little closer than I normally have it. So thank you everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate all your help here at the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. And uh, check out, I'll probably finish the, the last part of this maybe next week or the week after or something like that. And you can see, maybe I'll just have it as an extra video part. Okay. So thank you everybody. We'll see you on Friday for the weekend project and then Saturday for our regular live stream at 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Can't wait to see you there and enjoy the rest of the day. Okay. Take care, everybody. Big hugs from us at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. See ya.